That didn't take long. Oh no, he's in the tree. He's out of the tree. Oh God. <laughs> Nice small mouth to kick her off. I think that was my second or third cast. One of my new favorite combos right here. That's the old core tackle hover rig with the flash tricks. Catches nice small mouth like that one. God, they eat that thing up. So just a little announcement for you guys out there. Uh, who like to catch smallmouth, a lot of you like to catch smallmouth if you live in Canada. And we've had a ton of requests for the core tackle hover rig from our Canadian anglers. And uh, we have not been shipping internationally. And this isn't just the Canadian anglers, this is pretty much anglers from around the world have been asking us for this. We currently are not set up to, to ship internationally based on how we're doing it, using a school to help us out, and it would just completely destroy the system that they have in place. But I have really good news for you. If you live in Canada, guys, go to Lake of the Woods Sports Headquarters. We just shipped a pile of both sizes of hover rigs to them, and they will ship to everyone who is located throughout Canada. They may even ship internationally. I don't know that. But really guys, I'll put the link up for you. If you live in Canada, I've gotten a ton of questions from Canadian anglers asking us when it would be available to them. Go to Lake of the Woods Sports Headquarters. I'll put the link, the website in the video description. Go buy them out guys. They've got a good number of them, but they don't have a pile of them, but we will ship a ton more if they wanna carry them. So go over there, get yourself uh, a new Bass Tricks, uh, Flash Tricks right here. This is one of the most natural minnow presentations. This is the 364th Core Tackle Hover Rig. That was our, I don't know, third cast of the day. I'm gonna get back to it. So we're out on the river this morning, dropped the boys off, got to come out for, I have about two hours. Wanted to play around with a few baits on the hover rig. We've already caught a couple. It's a beautiful May morning. I. Uh, have spent pretty much the last six weeks our entire open water season so far doing a build out on my wife's chiropractic clinic and today was opening day in the new space so my job is pretty much done there might be a few more things that i need to take care of but we are open in the new location which means i get to get out and do a little bit more fishing which makes me a happy camper because not gonna lie guys i'm pretty sick of seeing that new office in terms of like all the things i had to do we pretty much i think i pretty much handled everything except for putting carpeting in uh it was a lot of work turned out really good i'm really very very happy with it my wife is very happy with it i think it'll be a great location i'm excited to see what she does with it but most importantly I get to fish a little bit more now and I don't have to worry about doing that. So we're out here right now enjoying a beautiful day, a couple hours to myself and not doing manual labor. We've got uh, kind of that in between conditions where the fish are pretty much done spawning, but they're some of them are shallow. Some of them are moved out deep. The lake I'm on, part of the Wisconsin River, but it is almost entirely smallmouth. There's a few random largemouth, but pretty much fishing for smallmouth right right now. But we're, we're on a dirty water area. I mean, the lake is, or the river is very dark. Um, so from that standpoint, you fish the smallmouth similar to how you fish a largemouth a lot of times. But we are gonna see what we can catch. Like I said, I'm just close to my kid's school, so I can pick them up on the way back, tow, boat in tow. And uh, this is more of just, I wanted to get out and have a little bit of fun. A 
Another nice one. They have such a hard time not eating the hover rig, guys. I don't know what to say. It is driving smallmouth crazy. It's almost to the point I'd wish I could keep it to myself. But that's a good one right in the snout. Come here. I mean, that's a good three and a quarter hover rig. I did lose my little bass tricks, live tricks, or actually the flash tricks. Got him pammed. That little guy catches such good quality smallmouth. It's like they have not seen it before, which I know they haven't, but I will take that every time. Hi, they love that thing. And I'm really loving that flash tricks. It is a great little bait. And I don't know that I have any more. All right, guys. Well, I left a bunch of stuff I grabbed from the tackle room in the car. So I might go back and get that. But I've got here the other bass tricks bait that works phenomenally well in this and this is so this is the live tricks the other was the flash tricks this little guy is one of the most natural realistic looking minnows so we're gonna put him on and I'll show you how to rig it so it's real simple in this case one thing I love about these guys is they're hollow if you can see that they're actually hollow poured down so you start about a I'm gonna say a quarter of an inch behind the head poke it through and then you're just gonna thread it up the hook like you would any other normal bait pop it through the back slide your bait up and this is really easy because these are hollow and then once you get to the head just pull it forward and slip the what we call the hook keeper the bait keeper in and then at this point I usually just pull the back end a little bit there you go so that's the Bass Tricks Live Tricks. This is uh, the three inch size. It's just a phenomenal looking size. It really matches here the emerald shiners that we've got. One of the main forage species on the river. Fish absolutely love it. We're back in business. Nice keeper for this lake. Right in the top of the mouth again. Another, I don't know, two pounder. Which for this place is a good quality fish. I am enjoying today. A couple of things I want to point out. So, one of the reasons we love the hover rig so much is because it makes your baits last so many more fish. Uh, in this case, these Bass Tricks Live Tricks, as well as the Flash Tricks, extremely soft baits. They tear up pretty easily, and they're you know they're not cheap baits to buy, but they are extremely high quality baits. Like you you get what you pay for, but they're soft, so they don't necessarily last that long. But on the hover rig hook. They last so much longer and it's just something that uh, both Johnny and I really strive for. We want to create baits that work and have a lot of bonuses to it. One of the bonuses is it makes your baits last that much longer. 
Another one is its skippability. Because of the weight being internal, you can fire this thing and skip it under docks. Uh, it just really is a very easy casting bait. It's got a very natural fall because again, the weight is in it, which means the bait glides, it spirals a little bit, does a little bit of everything, but that's what triggers the fish into biting. Uh, we're seeing hover strolling, the hover strolling technique play a much bigger role in national tournaments right now. And it's because it's a presentation that the fish have a really hard time turning down. Uh, in this case, you know, I'm throwing the 364th ounce, but you guys have seen me use in my tournaments the 8th ounce one, and I'm actually flipping it on bait casting gear. Um, it's just one of those things that it's a technique that I think we're, we're really realizing that you can fish almost anywhere. There's not a right or wrong way to do it. Uh, it's a fun, slow presentation that is catching fish everywhere. I mean, it's really been flabbergasting to me how good this technique is and I think personally a lot of it just has to do with that erratic fall so whether you buy a core tackle hover rig or go out and do the traditional nail weight inserted into a bait um, it works in either case I just think why why lose a nail weight in a worm on every fish when you could you know fish one worm and catch 10 fish on it if you use the hover rig So just to point a couple of things out, I get asked all the time based on how to fish the hover rig and the retrieves. And it really kind of depends on how you're fishing, like what you're fishing. In this case, you know, I'm just going down the bank, really fishing it in a very similar manner to a wacky rig, a weightless wacky rig. You know, I'm throwing it, I'm throwing it targets and then I just let it fall. And once it hits the bottom, then I'll snap it. I'll give it a nice little wrist snap, which will get the bait to dart one direction or the other. But for the most part, you know, I'm fishing it much more uh, like a wacky rig. Now, a lot of people are loving it for offshore fishing, for suspended fish. And in that case, you know, I might throw it out and then kind of just let it try to hover at a certain position or a certain depth. Uh, but like I said, there's really no right or wrong way to fish it. I love to flip and pitch the eighth ounce. And we're actually coming out with some, some bigger models, some stouter hooks, some lighter models, some smaller hooks. like. We're coming out with a whole pile of them. So just stay tuned for that. But it's really a technique where you can alter it. I thought that was, oh. You can alter it to uh, however you want to fish it. It really is a, a up to the angler in terms of your, your approach. Let's see if we can get this one to come back. He's right off that tire. They like to be on the tires. A lot of these docks are rolling docks, you know, and they get the, you get the pole, which is all fine and dandy, but the tire is a much wider base that the fish like to hold on to. That's right where he was. Oh, let's push ourselves away a little bit. Like, you know, like I just said, it's really all about how you want to fish it, the technique that you are fishing at the time. But what I'm finding is you can use almost any plastic with it. You can fish almost any style. It's really up to the angler to adapt it. And that's one of the cool things about this. I've said this before, but it's such a new technique still. It's, it's such a unknown that it, if the anglers out there and willing to play with it that you really can have an advantage before anyone else is really fishing with it and that's one of the things that I, I truly love about it so I think on that note I'm just gonna let you guys go out play around with it give me the feedback I'd love to know what you guys think are you enjoying the core tackle hover rig as much as I am what are some of your favorite baits if you live in Canada guys Lake of the Woods Sports Headquarters has them. That's your route to getting some right now. Uh, we're hoping to be in Tackle Warehouse and a few other retailers in the not too distant future. But if you want them right now, Lake of the Woods is your source to getting them. And uh, I'm just super excited that they reached out and that they're interested in carrying it. I think that uh, 
a lot of you guys are gonna find that your large mouth and your small mouth, heck, even the wall, I mean, it really is a multi-species thing again, too, going back to not, uh, not really having this completely figured out, but I have some walleye buddies that are absolutely pounding the walleye, fishing it in, in manners that you would be fishing it for bass, but just in walleye locations, and the walleyes are eating them up. That's, what, that's what's awesome about this. So get yourself some, try it for yourselves, let me know what you think, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all the support from all of you.